in today's junk journal with me i'm going to be sharing my take on the prompt of opposites for day 15 of the junk journal january challenge hey it's meg welcome back to my channel i was really excited to work on the other side of this envelope page which if you didn't see my video for yesterday's prompt i kind of added it in on a bit of a whim but it's a really interesting shape to work with and so i was thinking about how i wanted to use this because I definitely wanted to keep the shape. I think it's really interesting and is just quite authentically like junky in a way, like junk journaly. And so what I decided to do, because I thought maybe I could collage on top of it, but then um, trim it to the sort of scalloped wavy edge that's going on. Um, but then what I decided to do, because it's just plain white on the back, and because the prompt is opposite, so I was thinking, you know, kind of black and white or things that are a bit more bold versus my more muted, vintagey, quite soft things going on, especially because you've got that floral illustration on the other side of the page. That's kind of a bit of an opposite too. So what I decided to do was use a stencil and some black acrylic paint. And I just used that across not all of the envelope but most of it to create a really bold pattern and I didn't end up covering up much of it I really wanted to let that be the sort of main focal point of this page and have that real impact with the page and it was really fun to do I really enjoyed um, the process actually of sort of just doing the stenciling it was quite therapeutic and it was a really fun way to reimagine some of the papers that I've been adding to this journal because it was just a little bit something different. Like I've done a lot of collaging and sort of patchworky bits and pieces in this journal so far. So it was nice to pull out some paints and do something a little bit different and not cover up so much of it as well. Um, and I think it had a really big bold impact on the page itself and so what I was doing was just sort of adding that and not being too precise with how it was being applied because I kind of wanted it to be a little bit sort of rough and uh, ready if you will um, nothing too like strict I'm still using this as a place to really play and experiment with different things um, but I really enjoyed the contrast of the bold pattern on sort of a portion of the envelope um, that was something I really enjoyed and I think just because the black and white was so bold um, it's really quite an opposite to something that I would normally do in my journal so I was really pushing myself to try something a little bit different and push myself out of my comfort zone a bit as well when I was doing this so I decided to also kind of go over a little bit of the washi tape that's on the page, sort of the ones that I'd added into the seam to tip in the envelope and the other page. Um, and then also ever so slightly onto the page that's on the right hand side, just to kind of help them feel a little bit connected. Because at this point, I knew that I wanted it to be a double page spread because I felt like the envelope was cool but it wasn't enough for me on its own to justify kind of being a page um i don't know if that makes sense i just felt like it was a little bit too small so i knew i wanted to bring in the other page so having it overlap ever so slightly just helps to um bring it together a little bit more and you have that sort of continuity um between the two pages it's sort of draws your eye across and pulls them together a little bit more so you can see there how I kind of didn't use the full stencil and then I have this little tag here with a bit of some uh, vintage embellishments on it and I didn't add too much to this tag because this was almost my contrast really so you had that bold almost more modern pattern I'd say compared to some things that I include in my journal um, and then you had this tag with the you know the vintage writing and it's a lot softer and then I also added some vintage stamps here so I just added a couple one of them I also glued um, back to front because I love to do that to have the 
the effect of the stamp, but if it's something that maybe it's a color I don't like or I, I just want to have that texture without having like a stamp in my face, um, then I will just turn it over like this and it becomes a bit of collage fodder without necessarily getting in the way. Um, and in this case, it kind of provided a bit of a background really, so the stamps didn't feel like they were just floating around on the page. So I included one that was in a more sort of brown color scheme and then a bit of a pop of pink because we do have the pink that is showing through on the envelope there at the top of the page um, where I'd folded the excess of the envelope uh, over. So I just wanted to kind of draw down that color a little bit and have that um, continuity between those. Um, and then I added a really delicate little rub on here. It's just a black and white one. So again, going with that black and white theme and then also having something that's a little bit more intricate and delicate against such the bold pattern that I have going on. And then when I was thinking about wanting to add a quote to this page, as I always do, um, I actually stumbled across, I have these black tags. I don't know where I got them from. Um, and I thought, oh, that would be perfect because something that I always do and I've done several times in this journal you'll have seen is that I will use a tag and it might be craft, it might be sort of a cream color and then I'll go over the top of it with a black pen. So in this sense, I'm doing the opposite. I'm using a black tag and I am using just a white paint pen. And this is actually quite an affordable um, brand of paint pen if you're in the UK, it's by um, The Works. You can buy them in a pack of, um, how many are there? 12 for like eight pounds. So it's quite affordable. and the payoff, like it's really, really opaque. I, I love them. So um, there's all different colors, but I just use the white here to write out my quote because I just thought that it fit the vibe of opposite so well. And then I had just enough space there to uh, write the attribution for the quote as well. So I just wrote that a little bit smaller and that was everything for this page. So what I did was I um, I stapled this to the page um, just because I wanted it to feel a little bit more um, free, I guess. I don't know, I kind of feel whenever I do staples, it's almost like it's sort of a, a quick little um, thing that I've done. It feels less fixed on the page because it's not um, completely stuck down there. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I did for this page. Oh, and I rounded the corner. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this page. So thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.